Hey, my name's Todd. Welcome to Unwrecked. And yes, I teamed up with Flash Arc and got myself an exhaust for the 370Z. I would have showed you the box a little bit more, but FedEx decided to, to crush that thing. FedEx was not nice with this. Okay, this box was beat to heck. Now, I'm kind of, I'm pretty pleased with how it got here. Flash Arc actually offered to send me a whole nother exhaust because this one has a couple dents in it. And I'm honestly... I told him, I said, don't worry about it. We'll, make, we'll see how it fits up. So, which one is it? Not that one. This one over here, it got beat up in shipping. So, as you can see, there's a dent right there on it. And then there's a dent on this side of it. A couple dents on this side of it. So, not really too thrilled about that, but that's not their fault. That's FedEx. Anyways, this is a full catback system for the 370Z. If you know, my Z has the same exact exhaust on it that when I bought it. These are like aftermarket eBay mufflers. Uh, that's all it is. And then it's stock from there forward. It also took a nice hit around Christmas of last year. Whenever I was coming home from work and I, uh, Instead of dodging a rock that I, I could not dodge because I had traffic coming the other direction, I straddled it. And it hit right in the Y. Uh, would have been like right, well, not here, but near the back. There's like a Y near the back, and it hit right in there. Dented my exhaust pretty significantly. There's no leaks, and everything's you know still kosher, but this is going to take care of all the bad piping that's in there not to mention the stock pipes the heat shields are rattling on it the heat shields don't hold up over time this is a 2009 yes it only has 42,000 miles on it but it's been through a lot of winters and i actually drove it in winter for a little while i'm probably going to continue to do it because i have already changed my mind that i'm not selling this thing so when i'm done with the brz it's going to be for sale Listen, uh, me and this car, we've been through a lot, and I and I will never, I know I will never find another Z as nice as this one, especially for a 2009 with every option from 2009, and I just broke 42,000 miles on it. I think I had 29 or 28 on it when I got it, so yeah, it's in immaculate shape. I like everything about it, and... After driving it this week, I got it out because the battery was getting low, so I started driving it. This is more comfortable to ride in, and it's honestly more fun to drive. So where I like this because it's fancy and it's fast, I still it's totally different than my Z because that thing is a stiff ride. The seats are stiffer. Uh, the heated seats are just, they, they warm you, and that's about it. Like everything works really good in this and it's very comfortable to ride in. So this is more of a sport touring car. That's more of just a straight sports car. But Todd, nobody needs two sports cars. Exactly. And this is basically the Z with less room. Well, I don't know if it has less. It's smaller. Might get better gas mileage, but it has less power. And I know everything about my Z and I like my Z and these VQs are 
bulletproof. They last forever. The Subaru motors, they're decent. They can take a good beating, but they will, over time, blow up. You know, I mean, it's just like any other car. If you beat the crap out of them, the Z seems to take the beating a little bit more. Anyways, yeah, that's why I'm like, the Z and this car are the same car. It's just that the Z's faster. And honestly, I think the Z's going to be more comfortable. The Z seats are more comfortable than those seats. So it's like, why am I selling my Z? I'm not. It's staying in the family. That's going to get when it's done. Yeah, like the only thing left to do now is to get this thing up on the lift so I can start throwing this exhaust on. Now... I will show you one thing you can do on these. If they wouldn't have sent me this exhaust, this wouldn't have been my first pick. Just because I, I don't really like the exhaust tips on it. But they are adjustable. And that's one thing I do like about them. So you got a nice clip there at the beginning. Me revving it a little bit. So you can kind of hear what this sounds like with a stock system with aftermarket mufflers. It actually sounds pretty good. It's pretty decent. This is probably going to be different because... We're removing the stock resonators to throw in these resonators. I don't know if they're going to muffle as much, so it might be a little bit louder. These tips are fully adjustable. So right now, you can see there's a bolt in the bottom of each one. That whole sleeve comes off, and then it's just a small piece of pipe. I already had one off. I honestly, I, I don't like the look of that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them on there. I'm going to fit them where I want them. And there's no extra holes in the bottom of that to adjust it, but it's so easy. You can drill holes in it and adjust it in or out according to where you want it and then put another bolt in it. Or you can do what I'm doing, and I don't like the look of the hardware in there. And once I get them adjusted where I like them, I'm going to put a tack weld in that hole so that you don't see those bolts. I'm going to remove them. But here's to me hoping that FedEx didn't bend any of the hangers or anything because... I don't know how it's going to fit up. So, only thing left to do now is get this thing up in the air, get the old exhaust off, and then start fitting this up. Now, to be 100% real with you, I bet you my uh, rattles are probably coming from these. As you can see, they're very nice looking. I don't know which one. From here back. We're replacing all of this, and you can see, very nice looking here. The flange is gone on that one. The flange is about gone on this one. There you go. And they have insulation wrap on there. These are supposed to help with vibrations. These dampers, they're all disappearing. Um, <laughs> this uh, brace, we're gonna have to remove these braces. That brace, it I can straighten it out once I get it off of there. It it took part of that hit from that rock. Really nice looking there. Uh, where was oh that's where it hit too. Right, that's where that rock hit. So let's get all this down and start put fitting the new stuff up. All right, I'm gonna fit this stuff up piece by piece, and we'll see how it fits up. Hopefully it fits up good. I don't like how the rear muffler was mounted, so we might have to make some adjustments here. I don't think this is the way it's supposed to be from the factory, but somebody had one mounted upside down. <laughs> so this hanger's bent down, and they had like that. It's supposed to be a hanger, not a pusher upper. So I think this is bent down, and then that's how it's supposed to be. So I think somebody did that because it probably wasn't fitting right. So we might have to make some adjustments here, but in the end, I just want them to be straight and fitted nice. So let's start fitting. Back 
Activate. Now I need to make some fine adjustments to this because we're not really in the center of that. So I wanna move that one out some, but they're hanging about right. I think they look like they're about level. Let me get these adjusted right. And then uh, we'll get a first start on this. Activate. Activate. I'm not gonna lie, I had to do some adjusting, but it was all because of that hanger over there being, I don't think, correct. I hammered it up and then put the hanger on the bottom like it should be and then I could get it to fit right. I was having it where it was fitting up too high on that side, too low on this side, and I'm pretty sure it's because that hanger was somebody had already bent it to make it that way. Now, they're perfectly centered on both sides. Little bit of adjustment, like I said, not too bad, especially for a lower budget exhaust. It's actually, it was pretty good. And then this one sticks out a little further than this one so i made that adjustment in the tip measured it so three eight it was three eighths of an inch from the bumper measuring out the, the very top of this also straightened them um and then welded them on there so like i said this tip's going to stick out just a little bit further i could show you by my welds but you can see how far it is from the edge there you can see it's barely, it's right up to the edge there. So there's maybe a quarter inch difference from how they hang, but once you uh, adjust those tips the way you want them, then they fit perfect. Another thing I did was I wire wheeled this whole thing and painted it top and bottom. I used uh, my Eastwood rust encapsulator and then I went, to, and it was a matte black, so I went over it with my engine enamel to make it shiny. I also straightened it out the best I could. So it's not perfectly straight. This is a very flimsy piece. Before I hang that on there, let me move some stuff and get down to where I can start this thing and we'll see what it sounds like. I didn't think I had enough gaskets, so these gaskets that are on here were actually ones I had. Uh, didn't, didn't come with the kit, but there actually were enough gaskets, so I'm just... Anyways, no leaks there. No leaks there. No leaks here. And uh, finally come out. I like the growl that it has at a low pitch like this. It has a higher pitch rasp that's not really, I don't really care for as much, but it looks good. It's in better condition than my stock exhaust. So this is gonna be great on here. Now mufflers 
can change in tune after you drive them for a while but mufflers can change in sound after you've driven them for a while the packing breaks in and stuff like that they can get louder normally don't get quieter they get louder but as of right now it has a nice tone down low so i'm going to get this thing down and get it out and drive it a little bit and uh we're, i'm going to see how it sounds inside the car so first off it has a totally different sound now yep definitely makes more sound i'll, I'll mark that I'm gonna have to review the footage from outside the car from inside here it actually sounds pretty good I didn't think I would like it because I heard the rasp but now that I'm driving it I can't hear the rasp I haven't looked over my footage yet but I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with the, the way that sounds I forgive my my slow launch I didn't want to like launch it really hard and spill my I need tires so I'm trying not to spin them so yeah if you want to get yourself one of these flash art 370z exhaust systems link down in the description if they give me a discount code it'll also be down in the description hey, as always if you like this video smash that like button consider subscribing hit that dislike button if your mom loves getting piped we'll see you on the next episode on rack Big, look at that big face on you. Stubby. How you doing? Yeah. We must be printing something because every time we print, he has to come over and watch the paper come out. You watching the paper come out, printer? Huh? Did you figure it out yet? Here's Miss Stella. Hi. What are you doing under there? Are you gonna come up? Are you gonna roll around? I can't do nothing. It's slowly sneaking up behind her. I don't know how it's coming up on camera. Don't hiss at him.